Hey guys, it's Lynn Fadetti here and on this channel I help you to build a business so that you have more freedom to spend time doing what you love with your loved ones. So in this video, I'm going to help you to create more freedom in your online business because a lot of times we have such a messy online business that it really can rob away our freedom in our mind, our soul, because can you imagine going home to a messy house? You just feel so overwhelmed and it really clutters the mind. The house is cluttered, but also your mind. So what I'm going to do is help you to be able to organize and create a Google workspace. I wouldn't say Google, but whatever your workspace is, whether it's Google or Dropbox or whatever it is, all your online filing, how do you keep it clean and tidy just like your house? Because a tidy house is a happier household. So is your online filing. If it's clean and tidy, then you're also going to feel a lot more happier as well. Hey guys, so I'm going to take you behind the scene as I declutter my whole business and really clean up my filing cabinets online. Have you seen the movie Marie Kondo where she comes in to a messy house and starts to organize things and also teach you to keep certain things that brings you joy and then clean up and throw away things that don't bring you joy or doesn't serve a purpose. So I just realized that in business, we also have the same problem. When we can't find our files and our Google folder, which to me is like different houses with all the drawers and all the things. And when we try to find something, we can't find it. It's really stressful. It's really overwhelming because you kind of go, it's a kind of a waste of time because there are probably things in there that you can use, but you don't know where it is. There's probably things that shouldn't be there, but it's there and it's everywhere. So it kind of messes with your brain. Just like when you, you know, looking for a piece of clothing that you want to wear and you don't know where it is and because it's hidden somewhere in your house and it can get really frustrating. I just did a, a course from Kerry Ann Nelson. So she's got a course called the filing flow, online flow. So this is where she takes you through a process where you clean up your whole mess online. So we use Google folders, Google Drive, where there's all these different folders. And because we have like a two terabytes of storage, it also meant that we were using up all the space and just throwing files everywhere. It's just so similar to a house. You know, when you have a big house and you have a big closet and you have a lot of storage space, we tend to just buy things and throw things into our storage because we just have room for it so likewise when we have a lot of online storage on google drive i find that we just start saving everything let's say on your computer you have limited space you are forced to kind of tidy up throw things away that you don't need all those downloadable files that you don't need you, you start to declutter because you don't have enough space so the beauty of having kind of limited space actually means that you have to really think hard about what you want to keep and what you don't and so we face the same problem with this whole Google Drive thing online where we have so many folders, so many files. Everyone is working in silo, so I know where my files are. My team members know where their files are, but we don't know where each other's files are, so we are very dependent on each other. So we're like, hey, can you send me something? Can you do that? And so it's not very smooth and leveraged. It's not effective. And what happens if that person is away or is gone or doesn't work there anymore? We're all going to try to figure out where the files are because that person pretty much took the knowledge with them. So, you know, our business, we really want to live and preach systemizing and processes and scaling up. And so it was just a really eye opener to see that we have weakness in this area. So I can't wait to actually implement and take it from this messy house that you all you call the messy Google Drive to turn it into a very organized uh, Google Drive that's going to make us feel really at peace and calm. Apparently it should take us only 10 seconds to find things. Whereas right, right now I think that for my stuff, I might be able to find it in, you know, a couple of minutes for my other people's things. I reckon a lot longer because I just have no idea where to look for it. So I just depend on asking them. So yeah, I'll show you behind the scenes. Okay. So let me just show you, this is my drive, right? So I'm going to have to really clean up my drive. I have no structure. I have no idea what these, why I just create different folders for a million things. And then this is my outsourcing angel company. And as you can see there, it doesn't kind of make sense. There is some image library, Lynn, there's my other businesses, and then there's a bunch of other Excels outside of it. And let's just say you go to outsourcing angel, there are just so many folders and it, it just doesn't make sense at all. So then if, you know, if I needed something in marketing, I go in there and once again, it's just anyone creates whatever folder 
and then no one knows where each where each things are. So I really can't wait to clean it up rather than having see once you go into here there's all these files outside as well as folders in here. So it's really really messy. And so you know ideally it should be really organized. This is the actual course from Kerry Ann. It has about five modules. It's really quick to go through. And what I really like is she has all these templates that you need to fill out. So for example, who are you gonna even share the files with? And it comes with all these workbooks as well. So you're going to go through it and it's almost like helping you to tidy up your house, move it to a new house, and it really gets you to think deep. And one interesting thing that I wanna share that I love, which is a small hack, is redirecting your screenshot. I just want to share with you a really simple hack that I've learned from the course that I think is just mind blowing. I can't believe I don't know this, but you know, when we're normally screenshotting, um, by, you know, controlling, uh, shift five on Mac and to screenshot something, it normally just automatically goes to the desktop, right? And then normally I would have to use this. I have to do this and move it to screenshots. If I want to clean up my desktop, I would have to move it. But here's a way for you to change the settings so that it goes into a folder. So all right, let me just go back. So what I did was instead of having it saved all over my desktop, I created a folder called screenshots. So what I want to happen is when you do control shift five, you go to options and instead of the default at desktop, normally it's defaulted at desktop. That is why it's saved on your desktop. But if you have created a new folder, which this time I called it screenshots, I go in screenshots and then I capture. So from now on, anything I screenshot will go straight to screenshot. So let me just give you another example. So maybe I'm going to here and I do this and then I capture. So you can see that it doesn't go into the desktop and it actually goes all the way into my screenshot. So I just wanted to show you that really simple hack that I love from the course. The thing I really like in the course is this kind of workflows to help you really think twice and about what to do with a file. So you look at the file and is it useful? Is it yes? Then you put it in the right folder. No, you know, ask yourself, will you be using it again? If yes, then you archive it. If it's no, you delete it. If you move it there, do I know what the subfolder for it is? Yes, then you move it. If not, you keep it. So it's kind of like a really simple flow that allows you to really think so that you could organize it properly. So I really, really enjoy this system because I think we underestimate what it really takes to file files. So I never thought I had a big problem until I did this course and realized that, yeah, I don't have a structure. I don't have a process. So following this will allow us to really systemize our folder system. Okay. So now that I've gone through the course, which normally a course, ideally you should be doing the exercise as you're doing the course. So she always tells you to, all right, your turn, do the exercise. Now I kind of didn't do it. I just wanted to learn the full theory first. Now that I've done the theory, I'm going to go back to doing the exercises. So I, myself and my ops manager and my marketing manager, we're actually doing the course together to learn it together so that we are going to implement it for our own department. So for me, myself, I'll probably try to organize my Lynn Padetti brand business. You know, Lynn Padetti is its own brand and my team can work on outsourcing Angel together. And I am going to really go back and summarize my notes again and then strategize and really plan out what, how I want to design my folder and then work on it. So I can't wait to show to you the after of what our folder system looks like. So how do I actually feel about this? I feel excited, but at the same time, overwhelmed already, nervous. It's kind of like I'm excited to experience the output, the after effect, knowing that everything's going to be so clean and organized. And, you know, when you walk to a very tidy house, but doing the work is just a bit like, oh, I don't want to do this. Can I just get someone else to clean my whole house? I kind of feel like I wish there was someone that just could come in and just declutter everything. Yeah, I think I'm just going to really learn it and and come up with a plan and I'm probably, probably going to give it to my virtual assistant to really deal with it because I just don't think I even want to, you know, do it all. I want to be the Marie Kondo where you come in and you explain the whole point and then you kind of tell the owners or the, the people there to actually go and do the cleaning up. So 
one of my VA who works with me in my Lin Pedetti brand, I really want her to kind of help me implement it as well. That's the great thing about having a VA. You've got that support. You don't have to do it all your own. But at the same time, I might just also just do it. So I, I might do a little bit definitely just to get the hang of thing and get, get a feel of it and uh, appreciate it. Because I'm kind of excited to also just to do it myself and feel the how, how good it feels, you know, when you start to tidy things up and you start to see how it looks and it just feels good to be able to experience it yourself and also be able to check in on my VA and see if she's doing the right thing if I actually know how to do it and know what it's like to do it myself. So yeah, I'm really excited and nervous at the same time, but I think I'm going to have to put a deadline on when I want to complete this buy. So I would say, you know, by the end of the month, I want this to be tidy up because I think the longer you have, the longer you're going to leave it. And with the team that I have, I can just get the team members to kind of dedicate to a time and we all do our part. And I think we can all finish it in a couple of weeks time. So the first thing I'm doing here is just removing everything. There are just so many files that I've saved and it's been a long time ago and it's not necessary. So the first process is for me after I've just moved everything to archive is anything left is delete. This used to have a lot of clutter even on the first page. So I've just moved everything into outsourcing angel and put it under archives because this is the area that the team would need to clean up. For me right now, I am just taking on Lynn Pedetti projects. So I've just already started organizing things. So in here, I've numbered one, two, three projects that I'm working on. And then in this one, this is an old one. So this is where I'm going to have to tidy up. I haven't worked on that. But just to give you an idea now that if I'm going to start something new, it's going to look really clean. So even the fact that you number it, it just gives you in order because without numbering, you kind of don't even know how many folders there are. But you can see that, okay, there is three projects. Under the projects, there is a marketing folder, number one, number two is video production. So right now, so this is a new project that I'm doing for a YouTube channel. Under marketing, I'm going to start numbering one for branding, one for partnership, one, three for social media, etc. Within branding, there'll, there'll be logo, la la. So I'm going to go back and number it all. So I just wanted to show you the progress and I really feel like starting it right and structuring it correctly just makes your brain feel so at peace and calm. Yay, I'm so happy to share that it's all done and I really love the new filing system as well as the skill set that I've gained moving forward. So the steps that I really took is, I don't think it's actually that hard. If you think about if you're cleaning your house, it's really about taking all the mess out of that room first, right? And move it away and start bringing in back things that you truly, truly need. And so think of it when you're tidying up, if you if you see Marie Kondo's work, you just try to apply it like that online. And so the step one that I found that worked well was I created an archive folder and pretty much moved a lot of things, everything, old things in archive and allows me to have this new space where I can start creating these houses or these departments. So as I create these departments, I would then go within that department and create the subfolders and I think the key thing is numbering, number one, two, three, et cetera. It just looks more organized in your mind. You can see the sequence. So once you've created those filing system in terms of subfolders, then it's really about sharing with your team members and explain to them how the new systems work so that you could start to kind of migrate into working in the new system. A lot of the things in the archive folder pretty much stays there unless you start to realize that you need some of the, the files again and you bring it back there. But what I kind of did at the same time was just delete and eliminate things that are just clutter that I know that I'm never going to use. So really, I think step one is just how do you get into a new workspace and creating these folders and then start cleaning out those old mess, right? So if you've got all, the, imagine in the real world, you got all the mess out there now. Now it's really about what can I throw away? What can I give to charity, right? And what should I bring back into the room? And so this is a, a process that I've created and now I feel so much more calmer it literally does feel like a clean house. So don't underestimate what an online space can really do to your peace of mind. Well, thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but I highly recommend checking out Kerry Ann's course on filing with flow. So this really helps you to understand the foundation of what it takes to really tidy up your online filing system. And yeah, if you want more videos on how you can build a business so that you have freedom to spend more time with your loved ones, check out my video here.